the best solar inverters in 2023, according to Aussie installers. The solar inverter is the hardest working component of your solar system. This means it's the component most likely to fail first, so it's really important that you choose a good one for your home. But what inverter brands are best? Every year, I ask the 500 odd installers in the SolarQuotes network to vote for what they consider to be the best inverters and the best value inverters. This year, I added a new category, best inverter support. About 100 installers managed to vote by the deadline. Here are the results. First up, the best inverters category. Best inverters in Australia, 2023. The winner is Fronius. Fronius wins the gold medal for the third year in a row with an incredible 48% of all votes cast. Fronius keeps getting more popular with Australian installers, growing their share of the vote every year. Over the last year, Fronius has started to phase out its older Snap Inverter series in favour of the new Gen 24 model. And that's good news, the Fronius Gen 24 is a worthy successor with two headline benefits. One, it's much quieter. The only problem with the Snap Inverter design was how noisy it could get at high power. While the Gen 24 isn't silent, I think it's quiet enough not to worry about. I like how Fronius has kept the force cooling with a fan as forcing the heat out must be good for longevity of the electronics, especially in this crazy hot country of ours. Single phase Gen 24 inverters can control a battery with a paid software upgrade. This means you can buy the solar only inverter for about the same price as the old snap inverter. If you add a battery later, you can pay around $1,000 to upgrade. This is cheaper, greener, and better than replacing the inverter or adding a second inverter just for the battery. If you want a robust, high quality inverter with an easy upgrade path to batteries, Fronius with BYD batteries is an excellent choice. Now, best inverters second place goes to Enphase. Keeping its second spot from 2022, but with its lowest ever percentage of votes is Enphase. Enphase makes micro inverters with their current flagship product in Australia being the IQ7A that can work with panels up to 465 watts. Enphase's big advantages are, you get to keep the voltage on your roof at 230 volts AC. There's no high voltage DC. Individual panel monitoring, they're great on complex roofs and their hardware is very reliable. Their disadvantages are, they cost more than a Fronius Gen 24 on anything but a tiny solar system. The warranty on the Envoy communications box is a stingy five years. It's 10 years for their microinverters. And in my opinion, their monitoring software is rubbish. Enphase is reportedly a big meanie when allowing third party access to its APIs as well. So some of your favorite apps may not be able to talk directly to your Enphase solar for monitoring, control, or curtailment. Now I have 35 IQ7As on my roof. I chose Enphase because I don't want high voltage DC running through my straw bale walls. I like the hardware and thankfully I can use the Tesla app for monitoring instead of the mediocre Enphase one. One very frustrating thing is that I can't find a third party app that can curtail the Enphase solar when the wholesale price goes negative. I suspect this is because Enphase HQ reportedly makes API access too expensive to be viable for a lot of developers. Hopefully, they'll change this self-defeating stinginess soon. Their upcoming IQ8 microinverters, which Enphase claims can run happily without a grid connection or a battery, have been imminent for as long as I can remember. The current promise is the second half of 2023 for the Australian release of their IQ8 microinverters. We'll see. Best inverters 2023. Third place goes to Solar Edge. Solar Edge came third despite losing vote share since we started counting back in 2021. This tells me that more and more Australian installers are moving away from Solar Edge. Anecdotally, I'm hearing this from many installers that I talk to. Frustrations around support and inverter availability in Australia have been running high recently. Having said that, 13% of installers in our network are very happy with Solar Edge and their new Energy Hub inverter with built-in consumption monitoring is a smart move. The 12 year warranty is nice too. And if you want to add a battery in the future, Solar Edge's battery can easily retrofit to their Energy Hub series of inverters. 
So that's the best inverters of 2023. Now what about the best value inverters? If money is tight and you want to reduce the upfront cost of your solar investment by about $1,000, then you may consider a lower cost inverter than the three I've just talked about. I've asked my installers which inverter they'd recommend for folks on a budget. Here are the results. Best value inverter, first place, goes to SunGrow. SunGrow takes the top spot for best value inverter for the third year in a row. Whatever you need, SunGrow makes it. Single phase, three phase, single and three phase hybrid inverters with backup. They come with an industry standard 10 year warranty. Reviewers are very happy with their hardware, often less so with the monitoring app. Here's two recent reviews. The phone app is a bit sketchy at times, poor connectivity, dropouts. The unit itself looks fine and is quiet. The Wi-Fi for iSolar Cloud cannot be connected for some reason, which is very frustrating. If you are looking for a cheap, but not too cheap solar inverter, SunGrow is a solid choice. If you're looking for a hybrid inverter, the SunGrow hybrids let you use the great value SunGrow battery with backup, even on three phase. If you want an alternative to the SunGrow app for monitoring, Solar Analytics can talk to SunGrow inverters without any other hardware required. Now, best value inverter, second place goes to Fronius. Funnily enough, Fronius do not make a budget inverter. So what's going on? Well, it's simply that many installers don't believe in installing anything other than a Fronius. Many will claim that saving money up front is a false economy, when Fronius is so reliable and well supported in Australia. It's a strong argument. Now, best value inverter, third place, goes to Goodwee. Goodwee seems to be a hardware maker on the up, developing a solid reputation for good products that are straightforward to set up, do what they say on the tin, and are a little cheaper than SunGrow. Recent reviewers generally like the hardware, but as with most budget brands, these two recent reviews show the app could use some improvements. So far, so good. The app gives good information but is basic. Have seen others that provide a bit more detail. This is definitely not a deal breaker though. This inverter is fine. The monitoring portal is average. It does what it needs to, but could be much nicer to use and consume info from. The good news is Goodwe is now compatible with Solar Analytics software. So if you pay the license, you can use that for monitoring instead of Goodwe's app. Goodwe warranties are good, recently increasing to 10 years for parts and labor. As with many manufacturers, there are also exclusions on some of the accessories, such as internet dongles, which I think is a rort if you're supposed to have the internet to maintain the warranty in the first place. Now to the final category, best after sales support. Quality support is super important with inverters because they're the brains of a solar system. Configuration can sometimes be finicky and most problems down the track will involve the inverter. Here are the winners for best support. Gold, Fronius. Silver, SunGrow. And bronze goes to Enphase. With Fronius winning again, Australian installers are making a compelling case to install a Fronius with SunGrow as a great budget option, and Enphase if you like microinverters. All three brands have a solid Australian support presence, staffed with local, knowledgeable, and helpful staff. So there you have it, the best inverters in Australia, as rated by Aussie solar installers who know what they're talking about. If you're looking to get quotes for solar from installers I've personally vetted and trust, just visit my website, solarquotes.com.au. Pop your postcode into the top right box, fill in the form, and I'll take it from there.